Hey guys, it's Brian back here with Reflected Images. Going over today are proper maintenance procedures. Once your car has been coated with us with uh, either the C-Quartz Professional or the C-Quartz Finest Reserve, we have now got a full maintenance procedure program. We've got the products in stock and what this video is gonna do is it's gonna show you exactly how to maintain and properly clean that car now that it is coated. All right, guys, so here's what we got. So once a car is completed in here, we do offer a full bucket kit that we put together. Um, this has all been hand selected to provide you with the best care, number one. Two, these products are pH balanced. Three, they're extremely easy to use. At the same time, very effective. So we've come up with this uh, uh, bucket with all the products. We've also got a full sheet which has all these instructions on it as well. So you're going to receive all this once the car is finished um, and out our door. So what I want to do is I'm going to go through what's included in this bucket. We're going to go through the products and then we're going to get some hands on uh, on this uh, GT350 behind us here and um, we're going to go through some of these techniques. All right, guys, so here's what we got. Um, we're gonna go through what's included in this maintenance bucket or kit, as, a, as we call it. These are sold in our shop. Um, we have these in our showroom. You can check out our website, reflectedimages.net, for more information on these. But what I wanna do, I wanna run through what's included in this. Um, not only are you gonna get all the instructions that have been hand-picked by us and have been laid out by us, but you're also going to get a grit guard in the bottom of this bucket, which is custom made with our logo on the front. These are a five gallon, great sturdy bucket. Um, grit guards installed in the bottom already. You're gonna get a, um, a waffle weave dry towel, which are great, they're nice and plush. You're going to get six high grade microfibers. We do only yellow, we, we may have other colors at the time. Um, you're also gonna get a 32 ounce of the Optimum No Rinse, which we have been personally using in this shop for about 17 years now, one of the greatest products ever. You're gonna get a 17 ounce of the new CarPro Echo 2, which is a great product, just came out strictly formulated for the coating cars. Um, you're also gonna get then two more Car Pro products. You've got a 17 ounce of their Reset Shampoo, which is phenomenal. Again, formulated for coated cars. And then you've also got their Pearl, which is a, a vinyl uh, tire uh, protectant that we feel is one of the better ones. It does last, it doesn't streak. Um, you get that as well. The last thing we've got in there is the, uh, a little bit of an interior detailer um, it's 303's protectant. It's been around for generations. It's unbelievable. Um, we're going to go through that as well. So again, this is what you're getting inside this bucket. Um, we do have it in the shop. We have it in our showroom. We do have it for sale, but this is primarily what you are going to use to maintain your car now that it has been coated with either of the two C-Quartz products, whether it's C-Quartz Pro or C-Quartz Finest Reserve. So stay tuned for more. All right. So here's what we got. We've got a 2017 uh, Ford Shelby GT350R that was treated with our signature new car prep package. Um, it went through all the motions. Uh, you can review all that on our website. Um, it also then was treated to three layers of C-Quartz Finest Reserve, which was then infrared cure, 260 degrees. So this car has been fully done. She is in for a full maintenance cleanup, which is what we're gonna go through. Um, the process again that I'm gonna show is the no rinse process, which is going to be super easy. Again, this car is black and we're dealing with vinyl stripes. So a little bit of uh, some intricate areas on here as well that need to have some care taken. Um, let's roll through this. If you guys always have any questions or any comments, you can comment on our channel or you can definitely email me directly. We'll go through that at the end, but let's get into the process now. All right, guys, so here's what we're gonna do. In this video, the hands-on portion of this is gonna be displayed using the optimum no rinse. This is gonna be your 90% uh, go-to as far as the method that you're gonna to wanna to use to clean these cars up. If a car gets extremely filthy, for instance, on this R, we're gonna show this here shortly, the wheels have gotten really dirty. Um, you're gonna then wanna to jump to the Car Pro Reset, which is a fantastic shampoo. Now, is one any better than the other? No, they're both equally the same, I will say, the Optimum is gonna be a little bit easier when you're indoors and it's hot. 
the car pro needs to be done uh, either outdoors or in an environment where you do have a hose and you do have some type of a controlled area because it does act just like a conventional wash method. Your two bucket method is still going to apply. You're either going to have optimum in your bucket or you're going to have the reset. Um, you're always though going to have a uh, clear water bucket with two gallons of water in it. So just to go over some different things. We again are going to display the optimum method. It's, it's my go-to method. It's super easy. It can be done in the sun, can be done in the shade, although we don't recommend it in the sun, but it can be done. Um, you will find that this stuff does a very, very, very effective job of cleaning the dirt off the car. Number one. Two, it's very safe. Uh, and it's and it's very easy as far as a learning curve. So let's get into this. Um, and again, I'll keep going back and forth possibly between the video of what the difference is between the two. All right, so one thing that's important here, you will notice that so far I have not talked about wash mitts. Um, there's no rhyme or reason why I don't prefer wash mitts. We do sell the Griot's Garage microfiber wash mitts. These are fantastic wash mitts. Here's my thing. When you get a wash mitt and you have a microfiber 16 by 16 all-purpose towel, you've got eight sides to this towel to clean your vehicle with. When you fold it into fours, you've now got eight sides on this towel of a clean surface. A mitt, you're only dealing with two sides. The other factor is these are way more expensive than an actual microfiber. They do the same thing. They are the same thickness. They're the same softness. However, you drop this on the ground, guess where it's got to go? It's got to go in the trash can. Microfibers are a much more cost effective way. If I drop this on the ground, she can go right in the trash can. I've got 20 more of them. I can grab another one off the pile. Most people aren't going to have 20 wash mitts laying around. So that's one of the reasons why I don't necessarily use a wash mitt. Um, but you guys and ladies are more than welcome to use it. Uh, I don't have any preference. This is just what I'm telling you what I prefer to use. All right, so here we go. So we've got our folded towel. We've now got our eight sides. We've got our clear water. We've got our optimum in our bucket. We've got our car ready to roll. One other key point, she is cool to the touch. I know I said before optimum can be done in the sun. I still prefer any type of a dark colored car should be done in the shade or have it cooled. You don't necessarily want to clean her up uh, when she is 110 degrees in the middle of the summer. So we're going to take our folded towel. We're going to put it into our solution bucket. As we go through, um, one thing you will notice is that, again, the car is not wet. It doesn't have to be. You can pre-rinse depending on the dirt and the severity of the car. That is for you guys to decide. I can't always tell you that. So you're gonna have to make that decision if in fact the car needs to be pre-rinsed. This R does not necessarily need to be pre-rinsed, so we're gonna go right into it. Once I take my towel in my bucket, I'm gonna bring it out, keep it wet, bring it up to the surface. There is no rhyme or reason. The only thing you don't wanna do is make swirling marks and you don't wanna make circle movements. We call it the tic-tac-toe board in the shop. You're gonna go across, nice and easy. Your hand now is not applying pressure. You are strictly a guide. That is a big difference. Pressure, you always have the risk of putting marks in. No matter how hard this coating is, no matter how uh, long it's been on the car, there's always a risk. Just guide it back and forth. As you guide this back and forth, you're gonna notice it's going to start taking the dirt off the car. Um, with the tic-tac-toe method, you ensure that you're not putting any type of a swirl mark in the car. If a light abrasion or a mark does get in the car, it's going to be on a horizontal or vert vertical surface. The sun will not necessarily pick that up. But again, no pressure. Your hand is strictly a guide. All right, so as you can see, we just finished cleaning this half of the hood. Um, you can see some of the dirt starting to come off this car. Uh, again, this is where the eight sides of this towel come into play. So what you're going to want to do is take this off the car. You're going to want to put this back into this bucket with only the clear water or the clean water. All right. Use your hand as a washing machine. Push it down into the grit guard, clean it out really well, and wring that dirty water out. That dirty water then stays in this bucket. Take your mitt or your microfiber, put it back into the solution bucket, which has the optimum in it. Uh, now we're going to go through how to dry and we're also going to bring that that wonderful product called car pro echo into play as well All right guys, so here we go. So once she's wet Looking back through it. We got everything clean the echo 2 solution that's in the bucket This is formulated for coated cars This can act two ways this can act as a drying aid, but it also acts as a quick detailer now as we dry this car depending on how much water is laying on this surface uh, depends on what type of method you're going to use to dry. I still prefer waffle weaves to pick the water up off the car 
They're safe, they do an amazing job. But couple it with the Echo 2, it is an absolute pleasure to dry a car. So you're gonna take this, again, this is in your bucket, open it up, this is already diluted. Echo 2 is a only diluted product. Um, when you buy it directly from us, it is already diluted in the right ready to use ratio. So you're gonna take it and you want a very light mist. You do not wanna make this heavy. Take your waffle weave and again, fold it into some sides and you're just gonna go lightly across the surface. As you can see, the waffle weaves do an amazing job of picking the water up. Um, what this will do, two things. One, it's not only drying the car, but it's also spreading out the Echo 2, which again, rehydrates the coating that's on the car. Bring this back through, get that up, put it over here, take a clean microfiber, which is great, always have them on hand. Again, fold my eight sides up, and you're gonna go back through and you're gonna buff this Echo 2 out. And what you will see, it is an amazing finish, number one, but we did it very safe and very effective. Um, this method can be used on the entire car. You can use this on the wheels as well, which we're gonna get into. Uh, but again, very safe, very effective, and you were doing any all but good of cleaning this car up. All right guys, so now that we got the body cleaned up, um, we're gonna jump into a light interior cleanup. Most interiors are probably not going to be that dirty, so the go-to recommendation is a soft microfiber towel uh, under scalding hot water. And what I mean by that is run it under your tap, get it extremely, extremely hot, the water, but you're going to wring it out so there is hardly any water left in this towel. Basically, just want it very, very damp. Um, you're gonna bring that in, and what that's gonna do is you rub that on any interior surface. It's not only gonna lift the dirt off the car, but it's also going to uh, safely clean all your areas from leather to vinyl to Alcaterra suede whatever it may be water is always your safest method so doing this door panel inside this 350 just kind of giving a nice overview uh, giving it a good wipe down and then we're gonna hit it with some 303 you may or may not need the 303 the 303 has been put in that kit to preserve your interior as well um, but again you've got to be the judge on that so once I'm done wiping all this down we're gonna go through it with the 303. Uh, we're gonna show that to you next. All right, so here we go. So we got our wipe down. Um, everything's good. We got all the dirt off. Everything's nice and clean. Um, went down into the door pocket. We got all the dirt and things out of here. The last thing you're gonna wanna do, and this is only if the car needs it. I can't stress that enough. Um, the 303 Protectant is a phenomenal product. What it's gonna do, it's gonna go on very light. You're gonna put it onto one of the microfibers that are in the kit. Um, you're just basically gonna spray it on the towel. All right, you don't wanna go crazy, you don't need to have a whole lot. And all you're gonna to wanna to do is just go very lightly across the surface. It's gonna do one of two things. One, it's gonna help preserve the areas that are on the interior that are exposed to sunlight. And two, it is going to give it a little bit of a, of a shine. Now, this stuff is not designed as a dressing or a greasy or shiny type of substance. It's going to be a very neutral matte finish. But once it's on, you will definitely know it's on and it does act like sunscreen for your interior. Um, one of the big user errors that people do make is you need to make sure it goes on uh, streak free. It can streak. So as you're going through, it's always best to make sure you kind of come back through and go over your work. You don't just want to do this once and call it a day. It will streak or it could potentially have dark and light spots. You want to make sure that you go through the entire door. Um, as you can see, some finished shots on this door. It looks pretty amazing. We've got an Alcaterra suede insert here. You do not want to put that on the suede inserts. Um, if you do happen to get a little bit on it, it's not the end of the world. Just wipe it back off. Um, but you can see that this door definitely looks pretty amazing. Uh, so we're going to go through and actually do this whole interior as well with the 303. <music> guys so here's what we got uh, we got the wheels done we did wind up using the reset shampoo on these wheels uh, they were a little bit dirty when she came back in either method still use the optimum no rinse method or you can use the reset shampoo method either way you're gonna get a very effective finish we then went in and we used the echo uh, finish up spray to get it dialed in as well um, once that was finished then I went back and all the tires were done with the pearl which is also included in that maintenance kit um, what the pearl is going to do, it's going to keep this sidewall uh, protected. 
Uh, as well as it gives it a nice shine. It's not overly excessive, but it's one that we prefer in the shop, and I think all my clients enjoy it as well, too. Um, so we're going to start wrapping it up, but, but that is uh, the tutorial uh, that matches the sheet that's in the kit. Um, so we're going to start wrapping things up now. All right, guys, so to wrap it up, we just finished the maintenance procedure on that 2017 Ford Shelby GT350R. It looks amazing. Everything that's included in this maintenance kit is what we use in this shop every day. So we went over the wash, we went over drying, we went over proper wheel techniques, we went over interior techniques. Everything, again, that's included in this kit uh, is in our showroom. This is what we pass on to you guys. Hopefully, this makes it a lot easier. You can always call us. You can email us for more information, uh, as well as if you need to purchase the products or the maintenance kits, we do have them in our showroom. They are also available for sale any day of the week. Just give us a call or shoot us an email. Also check us out online at reflectedimages.net. Guys, have a great day.